So new plan by the Department of Family Protective Service is looking to expand on awareness and education when it comes to child abuse. CBS 4's Patrick Chalvier has our report. Organizations such as BCFS Health and Human Services work closely with residents to lower the number of child abuse victims in the valley. Somebody has to guide them and if they're not getting the guidance in their home through their parents or have no support group, I think that's one of the most important things is that these youth um, need to have a circle of support. According to Child Protective Services, more than 2,000 children became victims of child abuse last year in Hidalgo County more than Cameron, Starr, and Willisie County combined. Regional Director for BCFS Marissa Cano says a number of factors play into why children, even young teens, become victims. There's so many different types of child abuse. I mean, we're talking, you know, um, emotional, mental, um, physical, you know. So with that being said, the type of abuse that can be or that is happening within the child can be so many different ways that they're traumatized. The new plan will include and expand on home visits by educators, counseling, and education and intervention services. Maria Arteaga is a parental educator at BCFS, working solely with parents on better connecting with their children. To um, better the communication because that way we avoid reaching to the point where they become abusive if they're not in good terms. There's a number of organizations like BCFS throughout the valley. Estrella's House, a children's advocacy center in Edinburgh, just announced future locations in Westico, Mission, and Roma. It's been said that the Hispanic culture tends to keep things within the immediate family, but Gano says that mentality needs to be broken if lives are to be saved. We're finding out from a lot of the parents that there's usually the household, and the household is run by the father right and so there is no say so so whatever kind of happens in the home stays in the home and nobody really discusses it in mccallan patrick shawvier cbs4 news and valleycentral.com while numbers have gone down according to the texas department of family and protective services 171 children have died from maltreatment last year